coming to the second movement shoulder extension so whenever uh, we talk about shoulder extension there is much controversy regarding the rom mostly 40, 0 to 45 degrees is considered as shoulder extension you can even tell us 0 to 60 degrees is also considered as shoulder extension so as we already talked about rom now i will be showing the muscles responsible for shoulder extension the main muscle come is posterior deltoid so anterior deltoid is for flexion and posterior deltoid is for extension now there is other muscle triceps brachii this is also the prime mover for shoulder extension so the entire posterior arm posterior deltoid and posterior arm is considered to cause the moment shoulder extension here you can see this is 45 degrees if i take it more his scapula is going into anterior tilting position hence in this model i am only showing shoulder extension till 45 degrees only relax so again grade 3 4 5 any patient is coming, I will be starting with grade 3 because it is easier and it will be giving us idea whether to go upwards or whether to go downwards. Grade 3 against gravity, no resistance and he should be able to complete full ROM. My command is take your hand back, relax. I will be telling the three positions for grade 3, 4 and 5, uh, prone lying, standing and sitting with the back facing towards the therapist. So again posterior deltoid and posterior aspect of the arm should be covered. Grade 3 no resistance hence my command is take your hand back. Very good relax. What can be the substitutions present here? Here whenever he is doing it do it again. He is using his upper trapezius. So relax here I can stabilize the shoulder and ask him to do the same movement again very good relax here the substitution this has been cleared but he has been using neck flexion hence my command now will be more clear don't use the neck or this muscle and take take the hand back do it again very good relax now grade four two finger resistance and ask the patient to take it back push 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 relax grade 5 four finger resistance and take it back relax here the position of forearm can be mid, mid prone or as it will be in anatomical position triceps will not uh, try to do any kind of substitution here the other muscle trying to do substitution here is latissimus dorsi few patients will try to take the hand this way where latissimus dorsi is overactive and it tries to adduct along with extension hence you need to be clear with your commands take the hand exactly back not towards not inward take your hand back one more substitution the patient might be using is he'll be trying to do external rotation with extension so this is internal rotation this is external rotation so whenever we ask the patient to do extension the patients will try to do this where they are doing this movement the thoracic uh, cage is coming forward along with external rotation and then doing the movement where teres major is responsible where over activity of these muscles teres major latissimus dorsi should be controlled very few patients use their back where hyperextension or flexion is seen coming to grade 2 of shoulder extension again the position is side lying where it is in the plane of gravity no resistance and he should be able to complete full rom so when i am talking about shoulder extension the patient will be taking the hand back this is grade 2 shoulder extension grade 1 again visible or palpable contractions will be seen in grade 1 we will be seeing visible or palpable contraction as the muscles here are posterior deltoid and triceps uh, we can see the contraction for grade 1 again as my model is well built you can be seeing contractions here whereas in other patients you might not fe feel or see this much uh, clear contraction and grade 0 is no movement uh, no contraction